Sean, congratulations through to the quarterfinals in Clendidno with a maximum break in your match against Daniel Wells. You must be absolutely delighted with that. Oh, completely over the moon, yeah. I, I went into tonight's match just wanting to, you know, uh, capitalise on what had been a good performance this afternoon against Anthony McGill. I had two centuries there and completed my career 600th century, so I was really pleased with that. And, of course, I knew Daniel had just beaten Judd Trump, so I knew what form he must be in, and, you know, I just wanted to put a good performance in, of course. You know, I stole the first at a one four five, and then a one four seven. I was just, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. It's a ridiculous achievement, isn't it? You reach six hundred centuries, and then six hundred one and six hundred two are a one four five and a one four seven. That's just obscene scoring. Yeah, <laughs> listen. I wish I knew the secret. If only I could do that more regularly. But uh, it, it was, I was close to it. I did an exhibition with Jimmy White out in Hungary uh, a few seasons ago. Um, and I had two 147s in the same exhibition. Like, you know, that was pretty special. Um, uh, but to do something like, you know, that out in the arena when it matters, to make the 145, uh, to see the opportunity for the 147 early, go for it and get it, um, that's up there with one of my best achievements. And then one of your best achievements must also be to have got 600 centuries today. What a proud moment for you. Yeah, very proud. Uh, and uh, there are only seven other players who've, who've made more. Um, very, you know, very, very pleased with that. I'm obviously doing something right. And I just, you know, you become a little bit, uh, I suppose, um, uh, you look over your shoulder a bit at the ones that have gone by. How many could I have had? But sure, everyone can say that. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got uh, a few years left in me yet. And uh, who knows? There might be a... A few more to come. Well, looking ahead, you're having a little joke with Stephen Hendry in, in the Instagram comments section. He's obviously on 776. And you said that potentially you might be able to reach that. Do you, do you think that's possible? Yeah, well, it's one of the few records that he set that I will be able to get <laughs> anywhere near, of course. You know, he was he was unbelievable, wasn't he, in his day? And uh, he set record after record, which, you know, only a couple of the players have been able to get anywhere near. Listen, if, if I were able to, to make that many and go past Stephen, uh, I'd be delighted. But um, I'm just thankful for a great day. I'm thankful that, you know, things have gone my way today. A uh, little bit of luck as well at the right time, I have to say that. Uh, and thrilled to be through to the quarterfinals. And you've had two games today, obviously, with the, with the, the nature of the format of these home nations tournaments, the Thursdays, some players will play twice. How do you prepare for a challenge like that? Because clearly it's, it's gone pretty well for you. Yeah, I actually, listen, you know, I, I, I would play snooker all day if I could. I'd love playing snooker. It's great being out in front of a crowd. You know, we, we did have those years uh, through the pandemic of playing through lockdown with nobody in the arena. So, I, 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 you know, every time I step out in front of a live audience, I try and put a good show on, I try and entertain. Uh, and uh, today, you know, I think I gave good value for money. And a word for your opponent today, Daniel Wells had a really good result against Judd Trump earlier on. He's more than good enough to be competing on the tour, isn't he? Oh, well, 100%. And, uh, you know, there's probably, you know, 500 players out there that are good enough to be on the tour. There are only 128 spots. Uh, and that's why we have a, a thriving amateur game, a thriving Q Tour and Q School as well at the end of each season. Uh, Daniel is doing well, uh, and uh, I'm sure he'll be here to stay. And you're playing Yuan Sijun tomorrow in the quarterfinals who beat Jack Lazowski tonight. So a formidable opponent. I mean, anybody who gets to the quarterfinals of a ranking event is a, is a tough test, aren't they? Yeah, I, I remember noticing uh, Sijun many, many seasons ago and I think I tipped him to go on and become a, you know, a, a multiple winner. That's yet to happen. Uh, but if he's beating one of the men of the season, you know, Jack Lazowski uh, looks just, he lives in the quarters and semis of events these days. Um, if he's beaten Jack today, uh, then he's obviously in very, very good form and I'll need my best to, uh, to come close. Well, congratulations, Sean, and best luck for tomorrow. Thank you.